Pretty red, pretty blue. Let's work. We know from previous fights from both these guys, they've got the cardio, got the stamina and the toughness to go three rounds of five minutes at full tilt, if needs be. Inside low kick from Mainz. Nice head movement from both. There's a nice right hand down the pipe from Tom Mains there. Yeah, just cut the kick and um, tried to drive through. I would have liked to see him follow it up and um, finish with the takedown. Okay. Nice inside kick from Ahadi. Sell pass stands from Mainz. Big left over the top. Yeah, both these guys coming out, swinging Fingers. early on. Yeah, had he just switching stances here, he's just gone sell part two. That was one of the things that Antonio Sheldon seemed to find it difficult to deal with was the constant stance switches and shots coming in from all angles. Yeah, if you can do it, great. Um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to be affecting him here, throwing the jab off both sides. Nice outside kick. I would like to see him follow it up at Mart with it Mart, land the kick, maybe throw a backhand check hook rather than just single shots. A shot to the body from Mahadi. And man's keeping that right leg back now. He's taking a few big kicks to the thigh. Slips on the head kick there. Swing and a miss from Mahadi. Big shots from Mans. Left hook, right, right, left hook, right hook, sorry. Nice backhand from Ahadi. Yeah, there's a nice right hand from Mans. Yeah. Mans, of course, training under Danny Batten, one of the original featherweight champions here in Cage Warriors. Oh, Mans got an orthodox now. Nice, nice double leg from Ahadi, really okay, nice timing, Nicolini. nice committal too. And let's see what he can do with uh, top position here from the ground. Mern's trying to stay active as well through that nice elbow and he's certainly he's keeping Milad Ahadi guessing here with those shots. Yeah, I'd like to see Ahadi go back to what he just did, people. posture up, maybe hands in the biceps and lets him uh, ground the pound off. But nice active guard from, uh, from Mern too. See feet on the hip with his right leg. He's looking for the arm bar on the far side. Didn't quite get it. And this is what the judges are looking to reward. You know, it's not necessarily the position, it's what you're doing in that position. And you know, Mern's attacking from the bottom there. I had he's got to start throwing stuff back to put some points on the board. Yeah, I was just talking to Ben Cartledge just before the show started, and he was there uh, running through the whole new criteria with me. Um so yeah, Mern's is certainly scoring from the bottom here. Back Lucky to have some of the Pick best judges shots. in the world here at Cage Warriors. Ben Cartledge, Dave Leatherby, Daryl Ransom in the judges' seats here tonight. All veterans of the UFC and internationally recognised judges. Yeah, if you look at um, Mearns' position, he's got a butterfly hook on the left side. I'd like to see him switch his head onto the same side that his leg is. Um, and he might be able to complete the butterfly sweep here. He's trying to get himself back into half guard. There we go. I see him trying to elevate that foot, but I would like to see his head on the opposite side. Really nice active guard from Marin too. Yeah, it creates a bit of space now, and Ahadi's going to have to try and find another way in. Again, those butterflies are in, though, and that's going to be a danger if he wants to keep this position. Yeah, just tried to wrestle up. Didn't quite get it. Um, Ahadi was straight back on him. Looking for the, the shoulder lock here, the arm lock on the far side, just let it go. Not long left in the round now, but it'd be good to see Milada Hadi really put a stamp on it with some, some nice ground and pound here towards the end, and that's what we're seeing. 
Yeah, I'd like to see him just posture up a little bit more like he's doing now. Maybe frame on uh, Mearns' face or his head. Oh. And, uh, just let off some bigger strikes, but that's the end of the round now. Good round, good force round. We've got two men in the cage now. We've got designs on Cage Warriors Gold in their future. Milad, the Badi Ahadi, and Tom Mearns. Nice combination there to start things off from Ahadi, but Mearns firing back. Yeah, Mearns just seems to be about an inch short of all his punches landing here. Just like to stay, see him step in, close the distance. If he's not landing up top, maybe go to the body. Seems to have a complete ground game anyway. He's, he, he was threatening submissions from uh, from the bottom, so I'd like to see him maybe complete the takedown and see what he has on top position. But at the minute here, Ahadi is just landing the cleaner strikes. Nice backhand from Ahadi. Nice body kick. Yeah, we know from his fights with the likes of Yassim Belhaj and Kieran Lister that Tom Mearns can just stand in front of an opponent all night and absorb the punishment, but he's going to want to start to find a way in with those shots now he's going to find a way to close that distance without getting caught on the way in yeah i think it's uh, had he just doing a nice job also he's just put, put, putting him on the end of the, uh, the jab on the end of a right hand and he's just keeping man's there man hasn't really had an answer for it yet so whether close the distance or you know change up the game plan and go for a takedown here and the left eye of tom man's starting to show a little bit of a, a mouse underneath it now and you know, we've seen a lot of cuts and swelling on the face of Mearns from those wars he's been in in the past. He does tend to mark up a little bit more easily than most. Yeah, he seems to be throwing a lead hook um, that hasn't been landing for him at all. So either, there we go again. I'd like to see him either st uh, step in with a uh, jab or backhand forced, then throw the left hook. But as he's throwing, the, as he's throwing either punch, uh, the straight punch, maybe close that distance from about two inches, then throw the left hook off. There we go again, Ahadi with a nice jab. Lead check hook. And again, Mearns just about an inch short of everything here. Ahadi's corner seeming very happy with his work in this second round. Richie's down for the body that time. I think Ahadi is just uh, enjoying himself in here now uh, on this round. Um, landing the cleaner strikes. He seems to have Mearns figured out here. Yeah, brilliant movement from Ahadi and a little bit of showboat now. And, you know, this is where he kind of entered that flow state against Sheldon. He was just scoring with absolutely everything he threw. Mearns taking another three, four shots there. Oh, there's a nice flipping left hand from Tom Mearns. Yeah, but I would like to see as he lands the left hand, maybe come up top with the right hand or shoot him for a takedown because at the minute you're just getting pieced together um, on the feet here. Lazy jab from Mearns. 90 seconds and another really good shot. And takedown there from Milad Ahadi. I would like to see as Ahadi lands, maybe pass over the guard straight away into half guard because you're giving Mearns a chance here and um, going back straight into butterfly guard. Just gone to half guard now. I would like to see Mans get the left on the hook, come up onto the side, get the left on the hook, and maybe create a little bit of space. Because at the minute, Ahadi is just flattening his two shoulders to the mat. And um, this is hard work for Mans to be on the bottom here. There's the on the hook. And again, Mans able to kick his man off and straight back to his feet. And nice technical get up, created a little bit of space. Was aiming to wrestle up, but had he just stepped step back? You look for Hadi to start walking the outside leg because Mearns has just went back to orthodox because I think he's just been taking a uh, walk on that right leg all night. There we go. There we go. I think Hadi is going to target that, that now. Um, 
the next round. I think as Connor will look at that now, look at Mearns' legs, the two of them, right and left is pieced up. The, the, the boat shown signs of redness. I think that they'll uh, tell a Hattie to tag that in the next round. It must be really frustrating, Paul, when you know when you come out with a game plan to fight in a certain stance and you're forced to change that because of the damage to your legs early. Yeah, ab absolutely. I think Warriors family, Molly McCann, the feature prelim. That'll be live on UFC Fight Pass in just a few hours' time, right after our card here in Manchester finishes. But right now we're straight back to the action here. Third and final round, Tom Means, Millard, Ahadi, Means in the blue-grey shorts, Millard Ahadi in the green, red and black. And again, it's Ahadi able to hit and not get hit on the way back. Yeah, I just think uh, Ahadi, he knows how to use that range, knows how to put Mearns on the end of a jab. Nice shot from Mearns here. Good to see him finish. He's in, he has his, his two hands clasped. That's Good cool. effort there from Milad Ahadi to prevent that takedown, but Mearns has his back now. Let's see what he can do from this position. Nice high crouch single he switched to. Nice elbow over the back there as well. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yeah, Hadi just doing a great job defending the double leg, really nice. Um, got the underhook noise from the back control and was able to free up a little bit of space and went back to the centre here. You know, I think the most impressive thing for me about Milo Hadi, and we saw it in his last fight as well, is that, you know, he, he still only looks like he's maybe in second gear here. He still looks like he's probably got a few more to go through if he needs to, but he, he's content to just sit here, score points and look very comfortable in doing so. Yeah, I just don't think he wants to um, give anything away uh, by overcommitting to something when you're up two rounds in the judges' scorecard, in my opinion. Yeah, I do have to correct myself on the uh, the judging situation. We, we've we got Paul Barton judging here tonight. I did uh, look around and see him just to my left between rounds, so apologies, my friend. Nice shot here from Ahadi. Um, went in for the low double leg, ended up coming up to a body lock. Nice, uh, nice way to finish the takedown here. And in Mearns' guard. Mearns is staying active from the bottom, though. Let's keep working, Rick. If I'm Mearns, though, I do want to try and create a little bit of space here. Maybe tie an overhook up, which he's trying on the right side. Sorry, another hook uh, on the right side. He's looking to trap an arm. But I would like to see him put his feet on the hips. There we go. Uh, and start attacking for triangles arm bars, uh, and arm bars because at the minute I just think you are losing this voice so you've got to throw up for a Hail Mary here Brad yeah absolutely you know we're, we're talking two and a half minutes left in the final round this is the moment when you do start taking risks Ahadi though just doing a great job of work, keeping that work right up keeping the fight where he wants it yeah, just really nice top pressure, not giving Mearns an inch here, even with Mearns um, attacking from the bottom. I just think he knows where to put his feet, where to put his weight, his posture. Mearns attacking an arm here on the right side. Open guard, and I had him pass it to half, at least. Looking to go into mount here. just trying to create a little bit of space on the right side he has the underhook and let go of it now trying to attack the arm on the far side or the near side sorry looking to go back to butterfly here really nice there's a couple of options there from butterfly learns a game very quick to scramble back to his feet you know, certainly 10 out of 10 for effort here. He's not capitulating. He's still very much trying to get something out of this fight. Yeah, absolutely. He went back to Butterfly Guard there. I thought he was going to attack for the, uh, a footlock. And he decided to wrestle up. And we're back here against the cage. I had he just walked the body here. Last minute to go. Nice double unders from uh, Mearns. It's very impressive to see Milada How do do this? Uh, on his cage warriors debut against the, the fellow debutant Antonio Sheldon, but to do this against the guy who's had as many cage warriors fights as Tom Mearns, super, big super back impressive. elbow, big back elbow there from Mearns. Didn't quite land, but like you said, he is trying here. 
Yeah, these are the kind of risks he needs to take here with 30 seconds on the clock. Back down on that gum shield and throw everything and the kitchen sink at Pilada Hadi here. That's still throwing that jab out. Yeah, I think Hadi just play, uh, fought a smart fight the whole night. Didn't uh, put too much, didn't put a foot wrong and just walked that jab the whole night. I thought his jab was brilliant, really great. Um, his range I thought was uh, excellent the whole night too. Front kick to the face there at the end of the round. And look, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but another year, maybe another three or four fights, Miller the Hadi versus Harry Hardwick. I mean, that sounds like a great fight to me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30-27. If ever of your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the red corner, Millard Ahadi!